Good morning. It is great to see you all. Actually, I can't see you. But this is Mr. Garen, and I'm going to walk you through today how to build a Google form and receive answers in the form of a Google Sheet. It should be a very helpful and useful skill for the upcoming weeks as we do more remote learning. I am doing this process on Windows 10. And if you're on a Mac, that will not make a difference at all, since we're just in our browser. I'm in my Firefox browser, and I have two tabs open, a British Literature tab for Google Drive and my British Literature for Google Classroom. So to begin, I am in my British Literature file on Google Drive, and I'm going to create a new folder for all of this remote learning stuff that I'll be making in the coming weeks. So this folder is going to be called Remote Learning. Click New, click Folder, type in your name. In this folder, I'm going to create a new file, a Google Form. So when you click New, you don't see Google Forms here, but it's under More. It's the first one on the list. A new Google Form. Mine is going to be called Book Questions. For chapter 4, I can have a description, and I have several options here. I'm not going to show you how each of these options work. When you hover over it, it gives you various choices. But I'm going to make some questions. My questions will be who, what, when. These are just examples. I do not actually ask questions like this. These are very open-ended questions. You do want to go to settings. It's very important that you click the settings up here and make sure all of the settings are how you will want them to be. You definitely want to collect email addresses so you know who is submitting these responses. And it's good to give them the option of having a response receipt if they request it. Respondents can edit after submit. That's not a big deal for me in this particular case, so I will we'll allow it. And I do want to restrict users to St. John Paul II Preparatory School. Presentation, I don't need anything here. Shuffle question order, maybe you would do this if you're doing math questions. And if I make this a quiz, it'll create both a score column and it will allow me to write answers in which can be automatically graded. This is helpful if you want to know whether or not a student put exactly the correct answer, if there's only one right answer. That's good for Latin, math, and maybe even for some of your very simple early grade questions. So I'll make it a quiz just to show you the difference. I click Save, and there we have it. I have my Google form. In Google Classroom, my British literature section on Google Classroom, I can create my test homework, I'll call it etc, etc, and I can add this form from Google Drive. Here's the form. Oh, it's not titled. I should title it over here. There we go. Now it has a title. And on my book questions chapter four. Let me post that. When a student clicks on it, they're going to see the following. These questions. Your email address is a SWAT camera at johnpaulprep.org. And you can answer these questions. Who? Mrs. Heffernan. What? Murder. When? Tomorrow. An air of mystery. So I click Submit. I can edit my response or I can submit another response. Let's say there's two children in my family. If I'm the SWAT cameras, I'm Kate and Luke. So I will click who. Kate says it's Mr. Garen. What? We'll say stick with murder. When? The day after tomorrow. And I click Submit. Great. Now, as a teacher, when I open the Google Form from my Google Drive file, 
I can see the responses. So I click here and I see responses. Number of respondents, two. Hurrah. And I have the list of answers that have been given. They both wrote murder. One tomorrow, the other one the day after tomorrow. Clicking this symbol here, the green one, is I think the best way of grading this material. That will create a new spreadsheet right next to the book questions chapter 4 form in my Google Drive folder. Now I'll create this new spreadsheet and it's about to open up here. And then I can grade these scores. So I have Sebastian Guerin 1 wrote Mrs. Heffernan, Murder and Tomorrow. Ooh, that's only a 2 out of 3. And Sebastian Guerin 2 wrote Mr. Guerin, Murder the Day After Tomorrow. That is correct. 3 out of 3. Uh, Mr. Guerin or Mrs. Heffernan were acceptable answers on this particular problem. And so now I have an easy sheet for grading and assessing student answers. If I want to provide feedback though, this isn't a great system for providing feedback to other students. So if you need to provide feedback, explicit feedback to the students, I would say this is not your preferred method, but it's good for just receiving their answers and giving them a score. You can let them know their score, I believe, by going to questions and in answer key, you can put in the correct answers or possible correct answers. And then students will be able to see quickly how well they did right after they answer the, the quiz, they can see the answers. So this is a good method for having quick Q&A with your students, but it's not very good for discussion. And it's not good if you want to give extended feedback to your students. All right, we're already over time, so that's enough for now.